Hey everyone, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. We've got a little brief break in the rain here and I have a very exciting package here. I have the OTB fundraiser discs, phase two. There's a lot of really cool discs in here. I know the trance is in here. Um, there's another hex, there's a crave, there's all kinds of goodies in here. So we'll do exactly what we did last time. I'll unbox, I'll show you guys the artwork and then we'll give them a throw to see how they fly. So the first disc we had on top here is going to be a, what feels to be a Neutron Soft Crave. It's got this cool woolly mammoth style stamp on it. Very cool and symmetrical, very pleasing to the eye. That is a nice symmetrical design. I think most of these are on the heavier side. This one is a 175. It's got another one of those cotton candy rims, which obviously I know you guys are fans of, and I'm also a fan of that as well. First throw of the day. Let's see how stable or flippy this thing is. Oh, that's a beauty. That is like the quintessential perfect flying crave right out of the box. That little minus one turn and then that little minus one fade back at the end. Now the next disc we have here is going to be a proton style hex and it's got these cool iceberg TV style ice crystals which obviously, again, I'm a huge fan of. They may be diamonds, they may be some sort of rare earth mineral, but in my mind, these are icebergs all day long. I heard that this was a little bit more stable than the Proton Soft, so we're gonna give this guy a nice firm throw similar to the Crave as well. Ugh. Yeah, see, that's, that's about how the Lizotl hexes fly for me. I don't get the Lozado hexes to flip up and ride at all. You saw that Crave shot really wanted to just flip up and go a good ways, carry nice and straight for a long time. A lot of hexes don't get that same sort of pick up and turn action, but the Proton Soft does, and I actually recommended that as one of my favorite runs of hex that I've ever thrown. Now the next one we have here, this might be my favorite artwork of the whole bunch. We've just got, I mean, look at the turntable mushroom. What a concept. I wonder if they're using AI to make these designs or if someone actually has a creative enough mind to come up with a turntable style mushroom. We have an ant absolutely popping off. Um, you know, he looks like Kygo, Skrillex, just very DJ-esque, maybe DJ Kevin Jones. If he was an ant, he would probably look something like this. So we'll take a look at the trance here. I haven't thrown one of these since the prototype. So this is one of the discs in this bunch that I'm actually really excited about. This one is a 174. So far, they've all been on the heavier side. Ugh. That is exactly how my proto tr uh, prototype trance flew. A touch more stable than the Crave, but that perfect, slightly more stable complement to the Crave. Ooh, we've got a watermelon style disc next here. I actually don't have any clue what this is. Let's take a quick. Okay, this is gonna be a Vanish. 160 gram Vanish on Simon Lazat's channel. He was throwing this thing and he kept thinking it was gonna be flippy. He pulls it out of the box and said, this just isn't for me. But then it wound up being a lot more stable than he expected. So I'm expecting to be able to pretty much throw this full power on a slight hyzer. Oh. Oh, so I yanked that a bit to the right, but that actually had a really nice flip up to it. That might be a really absolutely money 11 speed that I'm really excited to throw more. Now I've got the UFO stamp orbital. I guess this is a minus three and a half or minus four and a half turn. We're going to hit the left side of the fairway on some hyzer and see if we can get it to flip towards the center of the fairway. Oh yeah. Flying exactly true to those flight numbers. And then one of the most hyped was gonna be the Eclipse Watt from this drop. Some people are saying it's a tick more stable. I think it seems like for them, it was flying mostly the same. I'm gonna do a nice fan grip as I like to do with these putters and let her rip. If you can't see, I'm actually getting downpoured on right now. I mean, it's a watt. It flies like a watt. It's soaking wet. 
Well, all right, guys, we are here in the studio. Just to give you guys a quick breakdown of, you know, all the discs, we'll start off with the watt here. The watt just flies to me like a neutron watt. It's one of those really great point and shoot putters. If the NV is a little bit too stable for you, doesn't quite fly like it does for the pros for you, then you should definitely try a watt. They're nice and straight. Point and shoot, Anheuser stand, Anheuser, flat goes relatively straight. And hyzers may flip up a little bit, but they'll probably stay on hyzer for most people. So the watt, pretty typical, nothing too surprising here. Now I do have this new hex here. I would like to talk about this one a little bit more than the watt. I think this run flies very similar to the Simon Lizotto hex. It's definitely a tick more stable than the Proton Soft. The Proton Soft was a little bit more on the flippy side right out of the box. And I actually think this uh, Proton Soft flies more like the hex flight numbers were intended to fly. So this one flies more like a Lozado hex. So if you do want to have something as a backup to Lozado hex, I think this one with the cool um, diamond or iceberg stamp on it would definitely be a really good option to be a backup Lozado. Um, just something on the more stable side as far as hexes go. Next, we'll talk about this Crave here. Again, just a very true to the flight number Crave. I know the Cosmic Neutron Crave and some of the other runs of Crave might be more understable or more overstable than the flight numbers would indicate. Um, this one was 175 grams and it flies exactly true to the flight numbers. I can throw this thing pretty much full power on a slight hyzer or even on some shots that are maybe 80% power flat, but I really like a nice stable Crave for forehand shots. So hyzer flip forehands, big turnover forehands. This is one of those do-it-all craves, and I actually am happy these came out in max weight um, because for me in my game, I think a max weight crave is going to be best because I do actually like to backhand and forehand the crave. Now, the Vanish, I went and played Dry Creek yesterday with all these OTB discs. Threw it one time, lost it, couldn't find it, gone forever. So if you live in North Carolina, you want to go find a Vanish. It's, <laughs> it's in the thorn bush on the right, hole one, Dry Creek Pro Layout. Um, so next we'll talk about the trance here. I really love the artwork on the trance. Um, I do want to show you guys the profile a little bit closer here. The profile on the trance is like, it has this indented sort of concave under the wing shape that a lot of overstable discs have, but this is not super overstable and it honestly to me flies exactly the same as the Crave, but probably feels substantially worse in the hand than the Crave but pretty much gives you same performance flying through the air. But I do like the artwork and the trance seems like one of those discs they don't come out with very often. So if you want an opportunity to get a trance, now is probably the best time to do so. And it has a super sweet ant stamp, obviously. And then the last disc we'll talk about is this orbital. This orbital, uh, Simon was having a really fun time throwing it in his last YouTube video. I'd say that this is probably, if you are an Orbital fan, probably one of the more stable runs of Orbital out there. By no means is an overstable disc. Even for me, I was able to throw it on like this much hyzer and get it to like pop up and turn. But on sky hyzer shots, it's a really great disc for that because I can throw it way up in the air. It'll actually flip up to flat, go straight, and then still dump at the end. So there's still some integrity and some fade there as long as you give it enough hyzer and height. And that's an extremely useful shot to have in the bag. Anyway, shout out to OTB, OTB Discs for giving me the discs for today's video. Go buy them over at Power Grip USA first, and then when they run out, go get them over at OTB Discs. Um, you can use my discount code ICEBERG10 over at Power Grip. You can save 10% on your order. All orders over $70 ship for free. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel, and take care.